Looking for the best cheap high frequency radios? You're in the right place. Today, we're breaking down the top three affordable high frequency radios that deliver great performance without breaking the bank. First, we have an excellent option that's compact yet powerful, perfect for those who need portability and advanced features on a budget. Next, we'll look at a versatile and user friendly radio that offers fantastic value with features that stand out in its price range. Finally, our top choice boasts a robust design and impressive capabilities, making it our pick for the best budget-friendly high-frequency radio. Check the video description for the prices, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. So let's get started. Number 3. Zygu X5105 Zygu X5105 is a small powerhouse that combines practicality and advanced features. Designed with portable operation in mind, it's a good affordable high-frequency radio for those who don't have the budget for a more powerful high-frequency radio. Covering a wide frequency range, the X5105 can receive from 500 kHz to 30 MHz and 50 MHz to 54 MHz, and it transmits on the 160 meters to 6 meters amateur bands. It's versatile, supporting modes like CW, AM, USB, LSB, and FM. Also, its compact size and lightweight design make it ideal for portable use. One of my favorite features is the built-in automatic antenna tuner, ATU. This thing is a lifesaver in the field, tuning a wide range of antennas and storing tuning data for quick retuning. Setting it up as a portable station is a breeze, even with a mismatched antenna. Battery life is another strong point. The built-in 3800mAh battery can power the radio for up to 8 hours, which is great for those long outdoor sessions. However, be prepared for a long charging time. It can take up to 10 hours to fully charge from dead. The 3.6-inch dot matrix LCD is easy to read in both daylight and darkness, providing all the vital info you need. The backlit buttons are a nice touch for nighttime operations, too. Performance-wise, the X5105's receiver is good for its price. It's sensitive, and the DSP noise reduction and notch filter work effectively. The internal microphone delivers clear sound, and you will not need to use an external mic most of the time. In summary, the Zygu X5105 is a solid choice for portable high-frequency operations. Its compact size, built-in ATU, and long battery life make it a great field radio. Just be aware of its limitations with CW and digital modes and the long battery charging time. Number 2. Zygu G90 Zygu G90 High Frequency Radio isn't just a cheap high frequency radio that you buy solely for the price. The G90 has enough capabilities to stand its own ground. The price tag is the cherry on top of all that this radio has to offer. The compact unit measures 1.77 inch long by 4.72 inch wide and has a depth of 8.26 inches. That alone will give you plenty of flexibility to install or place this radio where you want it, but Zygu goes the extra mile here. It has four extension handles that can screw into the sides of the radio, front and back. Additionally, the front panel faceplate is detachable. The radio comes with a DB9 cable to make this possible. All these features and capabilities bode well for the convenience of installing this radio. The front of the radio has a few buttons and a few knobs, but it's dominated by the large color display. This LCD shows plenty of information like frequency, volume, signal, standing wave, and more. It even has a waterfall to display the frequencies. However, this isn't a touchscreen and not nearly as advanced as the display you'd see on ICOM IC7300 or Yaesu FTD-X10. Then again, these models cost almost two to three times more than the Zygu G90. When it comes to performance, this radio tops out at 20 watt, even though other high-frequency radios generally have a max transmit power of 100 watts. For a unit that has portability in mind, the 20 watt output is pretty decent. Though it might be lacking in a few aspects, Zygu doesn't feel like it misses out on a lot. I like that a lot of functions for the radio can be handled with the included microphone. Apart from the conventional buttons, the microphone has a few dedicated function buttons and two configurable buttons. You can adjust the built-in antenna tuner for the radio completely through the microphone. Speaking of the built-in tuner, Zygu's tuner appears to be a very impressive one. 
Many users find it absolutely fun. The tuner will work with anything metal and use it as a decent antenna. Well, there's bound to be some loss if you don't use a proper antenna, but still, the built-in auto tuner deserves appreciation. On the left side of the radio, you'll find room for two interfaces. One of these is the standard 3.5mm audio jack, where you can attach the headphone of your choice. Alternatively, you can also attach your choice of speakers here for better, clear audio. The other spot is for the self-defining interface. Simply put, you can use this spot for firmware updates or for connecting this radio to a computer. Overall, this is an excellent radio that punches above its weight. While it falls into the budget category, Zygu G90 High Frequency Radio isn't a cheap pick. Rather, it's a cost-effective and feature-rich option. Number 1. Yesu Original FT891 – Our Top Choice Yesu FT891 is a powerful mobile high-frequency radio, and it can be a decent base station even though it works better as a mobile rig. It's compact, feature-packed, and has plenty of options to work with. The face of the radio was dominated by a large screen and a large dial to its right. This large knob is quick to grab attention. Plus, Yesu allows torque adjustment here, so you can have it as heavy or light as you want. Moving the dial does feel pretty good. With the little real estate that's left here, Yesu has managed to find enough room for various buttons and knobs including a few buttons on top of the screen. This way, all the controls remain visible and easily accessible. It helps since the control head can be separated from the body for ease of installation, or even security and safety purposes. Separating them will require the purchase of Yesu's kit, though the overall process is straightforward and fairly easy. Interestingly, there is no visible room for the microphone's RJ45 connector on this transceiver. You have to slide the control head to find the connector for the microphone. This sounds like a hassle, but it's quite an innovative use of real estate. The radio comes with a microphone with a plastic body. It has a decent build quality and enough heft to feel good in the hands. The audio quality is good as well. The transceiver has a sturdy casing and feels robust and durable. There's also a stand at its bottom, which makes it suitable for tabletop use. However, in this setup, you will have to consider spending more money on additional accessories like an external sound card and external tuner. Overall, even though it's not perfect, it remains one of the best budget high-frequency radios with remarkable features, and that makes it our top choice. So what do you think? Which of these is the best cheap high-frequency radio for you? Or do you think another affordable high-frequency radio is better? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day!